Hello, I'm Charlie Eustace and I'm here at the NEC in Birmingham for the annual exhibition of Anything and Everything Motors and Motorsport. It's Autosport International 2016. The event utilises 1 million square metres of floor space and up to 80,000 visitors are expected over the four day long weekend. I'm stood now in front of the Autosport stage where today many big names from the world of motorsport will be giving talks to the public including current Williams driver Felipe Massa, 1996 world champion Damon Hill and three time Le Mans winner Alan McNish. The centrepiece of the show this year is Williams. Uh, they've erected their motorhome for the first time indoors. Uh, they never usually do that outside of Grand Prix. They've got eight race winning Grand Prix cars here and a few that even won the championship including Nigel Mansell and Alan Jones. Former Williams driver Susie Wolf was also at the event, launching her new Dare to be Different initiative aimed at getting young women and girls interested in motorsport. Another main feature of ASI 2016 was the F1 racing grid, where teams showcase cars from the past. I caught up with host of this special area, Stuart Codling. OK, so I've, I've managed to catch up with uh, Stuart Codling now. Um, so how's the sort of popularity of the F1 racing grid which you're here with been today? Oh, we're going great guns at the moment. Uh, Saturdays and Sundays are our peak time because uh, the trade people on Thursday and Friday are a little bit too cool for school. Whereas uh, Saturday, Sunday, you get people who, m many of these people may not actually be going to a Grand Prix this year. So who else have you got up on the stage with you today? Yeah, far more people than I expected to have when I woke up this morning. Uh, so I thought we had four people today, but we've got a veritable galamore free from Damon Hill, who's already appeared, but he'll be oh, coming wow. back. Uh, Alan McNish, who's already appeared, will be coming back. We've had Sam Brabham, we'll be speaking to Susie Wolf. You've got a lot of show cars here. Not all of them are recent, though. Have, have a lot of people sort of noticed the maybe a few dated machines? Some, some people are more observant than others. Bridgestone very uh, kindly donated this car year after year. It was getting a little bit long in the tooth, even though it was a race winning car. By 2008, you're sort of thinking, well, you know, we could do something a little bit more modern. Mercedes usually step up with something um, recent, and even the cars that aren't from last year or the year before do have a bit of history. The Toro Rosso we've got is an ex Dan Ricardo car, wow. and the Red Bull is uh, RB804, which Sebastian Vettel won four Grand Prix in a row in, at the end of 2012. Uh, Stuart, thank you very much for your time. Well, the sky is getting darker and the people are starting to leave, which means the event is nearly finished, unfortunately. But that does also mean that real motorsport action is closer to beginning again. As for the event next year, Autosport International 2017 is already planned and will begin on January 12th, ending on January 15th. Until then, I've been Charlie Eustace for Badger GP.